Anna. So I have kind of a stupid idea. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, I've been like upset because it's June and like, oh, it's, yeah. yeah, yeah, I've been complaining about it a lot. Constantly. So sometimes I just like break down and I want to do something stupid uh -huh. and I kind of want to make a giant octopus plushie. That's not where I expected it to go. <laughs> but this is good too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make a rainbow octopus too, so. All right, all right, all right. I can get into that. Yes. So, how big we talking? <laughs> Here, can I show you my, my plans? Hey, please. So this is actually something that I have done uh, twice in the past when I was a kid. So what you have to do is you get four sheets like this and you sew them all together. But then you have the underside. You should do it with jeans. <laughs> <laughs> so you also need four of these. Hmm. Here's how big I want to make it. <laughs> so I kind of want the full length of this to be 12 feet. Wow. This is like wow. two six foot men. This is gonna yeah. be probably the length of the room. The room. I want each tentacle, I think, to be a foot wide, so it's gonna be two feet round. I think, can I just say, I think this is exactly what you need. <laughs> this is what yeah. I need in my life. A hundred percent, I think this is what you need to do right Yeah. Now. Okay, so it's like 10. We're gonna need three carts worth of pillows. So we're having to make decisions about uh, which color. I think I'm gonna go with the fleece. And I think we're gonna do the top gray and then the other colors. Just gonna gently set this here. How are you today? I have used a sewing machine once in my life. I kind of get the gist, I think. This is supposed to be a beginner's sewing machine, probably for children. I'm hoping I can figure it out. I don't plan on putting all of this on camera because it's a lot of sewing. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe I was wrong. I'm probably breaking this. Yes, that's exactly what I need in my life. It's gonna work. I don't know how to get it out now. Victory. Victory won. June tends to be a very stressful month for me. It's important to remember that even though the world is garbage right now, we can still be happy amongst ourselves. And sometimes I have to remind myself of that because I forget. I got two colors down. My stitches aren't perfectly straight, but this is for pride, so they probably shouldn't be. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Okay, my orange boy is done. Two out of eight. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Not completely straight, but who is? All right, and the green is done. Welcome to sewing, day two. So I spent the morning safety pinning together these two tentacles. We've got the red one and the orange one. Yes, it's going. Okay, it's a giant knot underneath, but that's all right. We don't need perfection, we just need an octopus. Okay, we're good. Oh, I got this. I got this. I'm just so many expert. Welcome to day three of my octopus adventure. I spent all yesterday arguing with the sewing machine. Turns out it was just a bent needle, but I know so much about sewing machines now. Maybe I'll invest in a good one someday. So at this point, I've just got many, many yards of sewing to do, which is not very interesting to look at. So instead of subjecting you to hours of me sewing, I'm gonna spend the next couple minutes here talking about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Audible. You can get your first audiobook for free plus two Audible originals when you try Audible for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash Echo Gillette or text Echo Gillette to 500-500. Audible originals are exclusive audio titles created by celebrity storytellers from worlds as diverse as theater, journalism, literature, and more. Thanks to Audible and the many hours I had to spend sewing, I was finally able to finish Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I like being able to do multiple things at once, so listening to audiobooks while I'm drawing or doing busy work helps me learn how to multitask. Membership includes one free audio 
audiobook per month, exclusive sales, and 30% off all regularly priced audiobooks. So once again, if you would like to get one free audiobook and support weird content like this, you can go to audible.com forward slash Echo Gillette or text Echo Gillette to 500, 500 Welcome to another day of sewing. So after working for quite a while with the $40 baby toy sewing machine, I went out and bought a real one. So at this point, I'm just gonna put in some headphones and listen to an audiobook while I finish sewing this octopus. Let's get sewing. I'm here surrounded by pillows and fabric. And the next stage of this process is to turn the entire thing right side out, inside out. So that way I can fill it with pillow stuffing. I finished sewing this at about 2.30 a.m. last night. Are you so ready? Because I am ready to be done. Oh, that's satisfying. That's the head part. Okay, so the way that I filled the other two was that I kind of like scrunched it up like this. So like that's the whole thing just bunched up like a sock. And I grab a pillow and then we begin. The yellow tentacle is done and now I'm gonna move on to the green one. green leg is complete which means that I am halfway through all of the legs. I'm so close I can feel it. I'm so excited to show you this. This is probably going to be the coolest thing that I own. All of the legs are done. Look, but Worm has decided to make this his bed. It is done! But before I show you the final creation, I want to say thank you to all you guys for helping to show brands that it's worth sponsoring content like this. When you go to audible.com forward slash Echo Gillette or text the code Echo Gillette to 500, 500 you are showing these brands that it is worth sponsoring content like this. And it lets me put more of this weirdness out into the world. So thank you. Okay, so let's go have a look at my glorious masterpiece. This thing, it's probably it's too big to lift, I think. Guys. It's like a hat. You're hitting the fan. <laughs> <laughs> look at how big it is. It's giant. So like, even sitting on the couch, it takes up as much as a person. Yeah, it's a big person. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. All of the dogs really seem to like it as a bed. It's, it's a beanbag yeah. chair sized bed. You could just like put it on your bed and yeah. like another like, secondary mattress. A secondary bed. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love it so much. I think it's, it's probably good. It's very large. <laughs> I want to like write a letter to my past self and be like, this is what you do with your life in the future. I would be so happy. <laughs> I'd be so proud of myself. Um, if you want to see this glorious thing in person, uh, we're probably going to bring it to VidCon. We're going to try and fit it at the Echo's Weird booth on the north side of the convention hall. So if you're going to VidCon, come and take a picture with it. I'm going to be on the coming out on YouTube panel at VidCon. It's going to be on a very large stage, so if you could come to that and show me some support, I would really appreciate it. I'm also going to be wandering around RTX this year with a bunch of my friends, so if you see us, say hi. I think that's actually everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you want more weird content like this. Maybe next time I will make a giant clubhouse out of inflatable pool toys or something. I hope you have a wonderful life. I'm gonna give you a thousand awesome points for making it all the way to the end of this video and hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye. There you go. There you go. He loves it. It's his favorite. Bed for all the dogs. 